What's up everybody, Tactical Production 7 here. As we all know, Minecraft has updated to 1.4.2, so I will be doing a lot of the mods over again simply because they might have different installations um, and stuff like that. So again, I will start off with Too Many Items. Now, Too Many Items is a lot different than it was for Minecraft 1.3.2, and I'll go ahead and go through those features with you right now. Um, now, Too Many Items is amazing now, even more amazing than it was before. So let me go ahead and if you hit E to open up your inventory, you have too many items here. First off, I want to say if you want to disable too many items but still have it installed, you simply hit O and too many items will disappear. Hit O again and it will come back. So up here we have survival mode. You can change it to creative mode and then you'll have your creative menu here. And then you can change it to adventure mode and then it is now in adventure mode. You can also turn rain and snow on or off. You can change the time to sunrise, to noon, to sunset, and to midnight. You can also change it from peaceful to easy to normal to hard, and then back to peaceful. And if you're low on health or food, you can go ahead and click on this, and it will regenerate your health and food all the way back up. Um, over here we have saves. So if I give myself a bunch of random items like this, and then go ahead and click on save one, we have that there then go ahead and delete all of these items you can see they're all gone go ahead and click on load and it will bring all the items back um, there's another feature for you though is that you can delete items very easily by clicking on delete mode now we have all of the items including the new items right here you can see we have the beacon and the command block as well as the mossy cobblestone wall and normal cobblestone wall and all of the new items that are added by minecraft 1.4 Point to update. Um, here we have the heads and the, the foods um, and over here we have a favorite section so you can add this um, to your favorites right here is something I was messing around with earlier you can see it has a crap load of different enchantments on it so I'll go ahead and show you how to do that um, let me go ahead and show you how to do the favorites first so we have this right here you can go ahead and bring this up here and you can add them into favorites so there you go you add the block of iron into favorites and that into favorites um, but we want to come over to this right here and to switch this out let me go ahead and actually give myself a diamond sword so there we go we have a diamond sword and then come to this little enchantment book over here and take the diamond sword and place it up there there we go now we have a diamond sword and you can put the sharpness all the way up to 10 you can put the smite all the way up to 10 the ban of anthrop all the way up to 10 knockback all the way up to 10 I'm just gonna put everything up to 10 so let's see how that goes when I attack a mob with it so we have everything in here and you can do unlimited um, amounts of um, enchantments usually you'd only be able to have three enchantments on one weapon now you can have every single thing every single enchantment on one weapon as you can see and you can put them all up to level 10 so now you will no longer have to mess around with an enchantment table you can do exactly the enchantment you want we're almost done here okay okay so now let's go ahead and grab a mob. Let's go ahead and use the witch mob. So let's go ahead and... You know what? I didn't grab that, did I? Okay, create. There we go. So then you hit create and it's right here. And then you can also hit favorite and that will bring it to your favorites. So you can create a new weapon with all the enchantments you want and then you'll always be able to get it after it breaks or if you lose it. Okay, so let's go ahead and set down the witch. Let's go ahead and put myself into creative mode just so I don't die okay I don't know where she went apparently the witch isn't gonna work let's try something else let's just go with a mushroom cow mushroom cow is probably my favorite mob okay so here we go so there you go you can see he went flying this, this is a very very powerful sword one more time one more time come on all the way over there so yeah, that is too many items. Has a buttload of new features. Yes, a buttload. I don't know why I said that, but I did. So it has a lot of new features with the um, 1.4.2 update. So that is the too many items mod. 
I now need to clear up my Minecraft jar. After I do that, I will be back and I will show you how to install it. Alright, so what you're going to need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program, such as WinRAR, 7-Zip, or WinZip. All these archiving programs will relatively work the same exact way, so you can use whatever you prefer. I will be using WinRAR in this tutorial. Then you will need to download Too Many Items itself. So to download Too Many Items, I'll go ahead and give you a link to this, dis this page in the description. So if we go ahead and scroll down, we have all the information on the mod here. And if you keep scrolling down, we have all of the different features of the mod and um, how to use everything. But we want to go ahead and download for Minecraft 1.4.2. So go ahead and click on that link right there. And that will bring us over to an ad fly. And it will say, please wait five seconds up in the top right-hand corner. After that five seconds is up, a yellow button saying skip ad will appear. Go ahead and click on skip ad, and it will automatically download the mod. So that is how to download too many items. Now when you're ready to install the mod, go ahead and come over to start. Then type in percent app data percent, just like this down here in the bottom left hand corner. Then go ahead and open up your roaming. Open your dot minecraft. Then open your bin. Left click your minecraft jar, then right click it. Do open with and select whatever archiving program you're using. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I'm using WinRAR, so I'm going to go ahead and open it with WinRAR. Now, we're not going to need our bin open anymore, so you can go ahead and just close that. So, once you have your Minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up too many items. Highlight all of these files and drag them into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Go ahead and close too many items. Now, in your Minecraft jar, you should see a folder called MedInf. If you do not have this folder, that is OK. You can go ahead and just skip this step, but if you do have it, what you want to do is delete it. So, go ahead and left-click it, then right-click it. Select Delete Files, then hit Yes, and that will delete MedInf. You want to make sure you are always deleting MedInf when you're installing a mod to Minecraft. If you don't, it will make Minecraft crash. So after you delete MedInf, go ahead and close your Minecraft jar. And that's it. You're done installing the mod. So I hope this video helped you guys out. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.